Good morning. Good morning. So we, I am making a live recording. This is um, for Matter. This is Lecture 01, and I'm going to go to a presentation. So just a second there. More than a second. Okay, matter. So um, this is basically taking the reading. So up here you see I've highlighted key concepts. So the idea is what is a substance? How do atoms of different elements differ? How do mixtures differ from substances? How can you classify matter? So that's the key concept. And uh, the parts of an atom, you got the... The whole thing is the nucleus at the center. You can see they kind of have a small center. It's very small. Uh, the basic definition of matter is something that takes up space and has mass. So all the mass is concentrated in that center, whereas the electrons take up the volume. In the, on another page in the reading, they show the periodic table. And so basically the atomic number is the protons so you got like 13 protons five protons eight protons you have different elements and you can see as you're adding uh, protons you're also adding electrons so there's 13 protons and 13 electrons and so the periodic table is arranged basically all the elements in this first column have one outer electron then two uh, this section here is the metals. They're going to have one or two. And that's why metals um, conduct electricity, conduct heat, is because they have one or two valence electrons. All right, aluminum happens to be, it's hard to tell, but it's group 13. And so on the outside, you see one, two, three electrons. Boron is also that same group. And so it's got one, two, three. Uh, oxygen's right over here. Now, this happens to be group 16, and if you take away 10 from 16, you get six, and so I should have six outer electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see six outer electrons. Um, this is 17, and then the last one is group 18, and those all have eight outer electrons except for helium, which is just has two because it has two protons. All right, so helium will exist as single atoms. It's a noble gas, so they don't make, norm, under normal circumstances, don't make compounds. Hydrogen, it bonds with itself. It's a, what we call a diatomic. And then you have compounds like carbon dioxide. And so CO2, one carbon, two oxygens. And so that's why we see three atoms bonded together. Heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures. Again, it'd be nice to have a picture. Um, homogeneous means the same throughout. And so typically we use that to say like pure sample of water, H2O, um, pure sample of gold or iron or carbon. Those would be uh, homogeneous mixtures. Heterogeneous would be a mixture a good example is like sand and water. Um, you can mix sand and water, but you can easily, they're just physically mixed. There's no chemical reaction going on. And so you can separate those. And so here's a good summary. Um, so again, how I teach in the classroom, you know, I like to use pictures, um, tables, and um, Concept maps are good things to use to study this material. All right, so here's our vocabulary. The atom, a compound. Dissolve, that kind of goes with that homogeneous and heterogeneous. So homogeneous, dissolve means like adding salt to water. It's going to make salt water. Uh, salt is dissolving. If I add sand to water, it doesn't dissolve. And... Uh, so element, heterogeneous, homogeneous, 
matter mixture substance. All right. And then on the next slide. So here are three questions. Um, so up here on the concept map, you got matter, mixtures, heterogeneous. So the other one over here is homogeneous mixture. Over here, you're going to have substances. Substances are either elements or compounds. And this last question, how many atoms of oxygen are in water H2O? So I know it's three because it's I can read the chemical formula. Two hydrogens bonded to one oxygen. All right. So again, that's a quick run through. Um, I might make another video, but this will be a good start. So this is Jason Palmer signing off.